And so, I got one more. Okay, before you get there, I got one more. Okay, good news. And this is a terrible movie. I'm gonna put that up here right now. If you Why like, you do that? if you like campy, stupid, awful horror movies, because some people like those. I happened upon one that was awful, made in the 60s, I think, or late 50s, maybe. The Pit of Bloody Horror. It is bad in every way that a movie can be bad. It's just got terrible actors, terrible writing, terrible effects, and the plot is just as bad. Like, any generic horror movie's got this plot. You've got a bunch of, like, male and female models and, like, some cameramen, and they go to this, like, creepy castle to do a shoot, a photo shoot. Well, it turns out the guy that's living there is like some kind of psychopath, or it's haunted possibly, and they're not really sure. So then people start dying in the most ridiculous ways possible. Like, kind of a saw sort of situation where they get put in traps, and like, so someone's playing with them and trying to get them killed. And <laughs> so it turns out the place is kind of haunted by a luchador. <laughs> From, oh, okay. from like 200 years prior. As I said, it's totally bad and it's ridiculous in every way. But if you like dumb characters making dumb decisions and then getting killed in stupid and horrible ways as they're feebly trying to save themselves and end up just, it goes horribly wrong. This is along that lines of just campy and bad and terrible fake blood. So if that's your jam, the pit of bloody horror, <laughs> it's terrible. And if you like that sort of thing, it's for you. <laughs> Sometimes those are fun. Sometimes. Sometimes they're just bad. It's it's a mystery science theater level movie where you should be throwing popcorn at the screen and laughing every time somebody does something stupid because every that might time. That would be a good group movie then. I like yeah, those it, usually work better. That's what it would be good for. 